Russia unveiled a new model of the Su-57 stealth fighter with an advanced thrust vector control (TVC) engine at the Dubai Air Show 2025, marking the aircraft's first public Middle Eastern appearance. This enhanced Su-57 E model showcases redesigned 2D thrust vectoring engine nozzles, adding to the jet's signature supermaneuverability capabilities. The thrust vectoring nozzles permit pitch, yaw, and roll control in flight, enabling aggressive high angle of attack maneuvers, quick stall recovery, and advanced dogfighting performance. The Su 57E was displayed statically and demonstrated dynamically by Russian test pilots performing intricate flight routines, including post stall maneuvers and low speed rolls. It featured a stealth optimized blended wing body design, internal weapon bays to reduce radar cross section and a serpentine inlet duct design, all characteristic of its fifth-generation platform. The fighter is fitted with the N036 Bielka ASA radar and sophisticated infrared search and track systems. The AL-51F1 engine, also known as Product 30, features a flat nozzle oriented at approximately 45 degrees that includes a thrust vector control system. This flat nozzle design is capable of pitch axis thrust vectoring, achieved by four independently controlled flaps, which modify the air outlet cross-section and thrust vector. The flaps are arranged to provide thrust vectoring primarily in the pitch axis and can provide limited roll control when operated asymmetrically. The flat nozzle also contributes significantly to reducing the radar cross-section and infrared signature of the Su. 57M fighter at powers. The thrust vector system enhances the aircraft's maneuverability by allowing the pilot to control the direction of exhaust thrust beyond conventional fixed nozzle designs. This nozzle configuration, while causing a minor thrust loss, is highly valued for its stealth and performance benefits, including improving afterburner thrust to 18,000 kgf and emergency thrust to 19 to 19.5 tons. The design mirrors trends seen in advanced stealth fighters such as the F-22, with a focus on reduced observability and enhanced flight performance. This engine upgrade is paired with upgraded avionics, improved missile integration including advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons carried internally, and a command role for man-on-man -man teaming. The Su-57 ES multi-role capability encompasses air superiority, precision strike, and electronic warfare roles, with a focus on penetrating dense air defense systems. Russia's presentation at Dubai emphasizes the Su-57E as a cost-competitive, sovereign fifth-generation fighter option for export markets, particularly in the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. The aircraft offers greater operational independence compared to Western fighters like the F-35, removing export control restrictions and allowing customized avionics and weapons loads. However, questions remain regarding the jet's sustainment reliability under harsh climate conditions and long-term production capacity. The new Su-57 model at Dubai visually showcased the enhanced thrust vectoring nozzles, a critical aerodynamic feature distinct from competitors such as China's J-20, reinforcing Russia's edge in dogfight agility. The aircraft's supermaneuverability and multi-role stealth capabilities aim to reassert Russian aerospace as a prime contender in the global stealth fighter market, providing a strategic alternative to U.S. and European fifth-generation fighters. The Dubai Air Show 2025 debut of the Su-57E with a new thrust vector control engine highlights Russia's ongoing push to modernize and export its highest-tier combat aircraft. It combines advanced aerodynamics, stealth, sensor suites, and diversified weapons capability in a platform tailored for export customers seeking advanced technology without the political limitations of Western systems. This unveiling signals Moscow's intent to compete strongly in next-generation fighter sales and influence regional air power balances globally. At an export price estimated between 35 to 50 million US dollars, the Su-57E offers an affordable entry into the fifth-generation market, significantly undercutting the F-35 80 million US dollars and the out-of-production F-22 
22,150 million US dollars. This aggressive pricing strategy enhances Russia's competitiveness as nations seek high-performance fighters without the financial constraints and political restrictions typical of Western procurement agreements. The Su-57 ES Dubai debut arrives at a time when the Indo-Pacific is experiencing heightened strategic competition among major powers, creating a new demand cycle for advanced combat aircraft capable of operating in contested airspaces. In the Middle East, the UAE and Saudi Arabia are actively pursuing new generation fighters beyond Western suppliers, making the Su-57 EA a potential candidate for future procurement diversification. Russia's export push also serves a political function by offering nations independence from U.S. ETAR restrictions, which often limit weapons integration, operational flexibility, and re-export rights. The global appetite for non-Western fifth-generation fighters continues to rise as nations diversify their defense portfolios in response to sanctions, shifting alliances, and the need for autonomous strategic decision-making. Dubai Airshow 2025 could serve as a launching pad for multiple export discussions, memoranda of understanding, and framework agreements as Russia seeks to expand its market across Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and potentially Latin America. The inclusion of the detailed Su-57 E2DTVC model is a deliberate strategic tool designed to visually communicate Russia's technological breakthroughs to potential customers evaluating advanced propulsion, stealth, and maneuverability. In conclusion, the Su-57ES combined aircraft and model display at Dubai Airshow 2025, highlighting the new 2D thrust vectoring nozzle technology, advanced AL-51F, one engines, improved stealth shaping, and deep strike capability marks a transformative moment for Russia's role in the global fifth-generation fighter market. As Asia and the Middle East navigate increasingly contested airspaces and geopolitical uncertainties, the Su-57E emerges as a disruptive, cost-efficient, and strategically independent option capable of reshaping the future balance of regional air power.